I was embarrassed and I was I felt like wow I can't go down. How did Gwen Stefani survive the betrayal? Then just all these things just kept happening and then my life blew up in my face. Gwen and Gavin Rossdale were together for 20 years. I didn't know I wanted it so bad. I feel like reborn or like I have a whole new life ahead of me. But then he cheated on her with their nanny. It was really hard to get the courage. I wish it didn't happen. I wish that, I, that all this wasn't happening. But at the same time, I feel like it was part of my life journey. Gwen's heart was broken by the father of her kids. So many bad things. Oh, my God. It's all, it's all happening to all of us all the time. We all have to go through sad times, heartache. But she managed to come back stronger than ever. God definitely, uh, you know, opens a window and a door closes. Do you know what I mean? You have a choice to, to make something positive out of that. So what saved Gwen Stefani after her divorce? She and Gavin met on tour in 1995. I didn't know I was going to feel like this. I didn't know I wanted it so bad. It's pretty cool. They got engaged in 2002 after permission from her dad. I got engaged on New Year's Day. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It's weird, I feel so different now. I feel like reborn or like I have a whole new life ahead of me. It seemed like their love was genuine. The first blow came shortly after their marriage. It was revealed that Gavin had a love child. It happened long before, so Gwen forgave him. Together, they welcomed three sweet children. But February of 2015, mark the beginning of the end. Just can look back and go, wow, there was a time where I didn't know how I was gonna get through it. It was really hard to get the courage. Gwen discovered he had an affair with their nanny. It was the beginning of hell. Like six, seven, eight months of torture, trying to figure out this big secret. I was embarrassed and I was, I felt like, wow, I can't go down. Like, I don't wanna, this is not who I am. I'm not gonna fail. At first, she hid it from the public. Gwen even continued her work on The Voice. But giving up was never an option for her. When you go through something really traumatic, you have a choice, you know what I mean? You have a choice to, to make something positive out of that. Of course, she couldn't forgive such a betrayal. I remember thinking, there's got to be a reason for this. Of course you go through the why me and feel sorry for yourself. They filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Gavin later admitted that the gross and lopsided spectre of the crumbling of my marriage was his most embarrassing moment. And Gwen found her salvation in music. I wish it didn't happen. I wish that, I, that all this wasn't happening. But at the same time, it, I feel like it was part of my life journey. And, you know, in my life, I've had two really bad heartbreaks and I've written some incredible like music out of it and I feel so lucky to have that and to be able to share it. She prayed to God to help her on this journey. Just let me use my talent, let me just be that person again. It happened and it worked. In 2015, Gwen released a song, Used to Love You. It became one of her most successful records. I had to make something good out of it, so I, I tried to, to write, because I know that that was my gift. And I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this into music. The divorce from Gavin left her heartbroken. My dreams were shattered. All I wanted my whole life was to have babies, be married, like what my parents have. But she met Blake Shelton shortly after. There's so many bad things, oh my God. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, I can't even believe it. But at the same time, um, there are lots of good things and I ha do get to have a second chance and I do feel really like I have a lot of joy right now. He became her saviour and true love and now they're engaged and happy together. It's all happening to all of us all the time. We all have to go through sad times, heartache and if you look at it like this is a test, we all have to go through this, um, that's, that's a good way to kind of get to the other side because everybody gets to the other side eventually. Do you believe that heartbreak is not the end?